you know, something about seeing, you know, green grass, yeah. it's like almost calming. It feels like you're, you know, you're putting work in. Uh, but, you know, Mike said that, that maybe it's for the fans that like seeing that. He's all about making the field level, like where grass meets dirt, mm. you know, because you don't want ground balls kind of hopping, hopping, hopping way places forth. they yeah. shouldn't go. So that's mainly his, uh, his priority. But yeah, it also, it also looks darn good. And the Hawks, they're home from uh, tomorrow to next Thursday, right before the uh, fair gets going. So plenty of time oh, to get out there, plenty check of out our game. And it looks like this weekend things will cool down perhaps. Yeah. Yeah, this weekend, if you're waiting for that opportunity for a cool down to see the game, and we mm -hmm. should see a game one of these days yeah. too. We we'll should just have absolutely to take off go. work the next day. We'll just have to take off morning. work the next day. Hopefully, right. our boss is okay with that. Yeah. But yeah. Uh, it's absolutely a great weekend to do that because we're going to be cooling down significantly. So take a look at weather where you're at. Uh, 50 degrees in Bogus Basin right now. Notice a little bit of that smoke uh, looking into the horizon. That's unfortunately going to be a theme just for the next few days. But in the meantime, around 69 degrees in the Boise area. Ugh. Take a look, though, at that sunrise. A little bit of a cotton candy uh, look to it right before the sun comes up this morning. Very, very beautiful. Taking a look here at the Adventure Cast, if you want to do something active outside today, you know, as Brian was mentioning, probably your best bet is to wait until the weekend when we kind of cool down a bit. But if you really want to go out and you need to get those runs in, need to walk the dog, try the morning. We're already going to be around 70 degrees by that point. We're already uh, into the upper 80s to low 90s by lunch. And of course, hitting that high of 100. Not exactly the most pleasant experience to be doing things outside then. But, and this is all courtesy to our jet stream forecast. If you take a look here, because of this ridge of high pressure currently nestled in our area. And then as the day goes on, take a look at uh, what's going on here. That ridge is really going to amplify, meaning it's going to get stronger, pushing our degrees up around to 102, both on Thursday and Friday. But then we have a little bit of a change. This low pressure system is going to be moving into our area. And with that, we're going to be cooling down significantly. And that smoke, that air uh, that has that hazy like quality is going to be pushed out too, so we'll be able to see the foothills again, which will be a very welcome relief. Take a look though at just how much this low pressure system is really going to be affecting us. So we're going to be in the triple digit temperatures the next few days, but then take a look what happens on Saturday, 88 degrees. So we're going down below normal, uh, around 20 degree temperature drop for that time. And then we're going to be around that normal temperature on Sunday though. And then that's going to be continuing into Monday and Tuesday as far as the models can show. This ridge of high pressure right now blocking any type of precipitation, uh, any type of coverage that's going to basically uh, cool us down until it breaks down there on Saturday. So taking a look here at your extended forecast, triple digits are going to rain until Friday. So it is going to be feeling hot out there. Expect to see that smoke and haze. Hey, here's one good thing though about that smoke and haze. No, it's pretty unhealthy for a lot of different people, but it's actually suppressing the temperatures right now. So we could be near those record highs if it wasn't for the smoke around 105, 106. So be grateful for it in one sense. And then we're actually going to be seeing that cool air coming in on Saturday and then ending our week, Brian, uh, right where we need to be in the low 90s. Okay. Well, nice to know that there is uh, something to look forward to with these yeah. cooler temperatures uh, up ahead. All right. Thank you very much, Lauren. 618 this morning. Let's uh, head outside. Check out your